On today's episode of Homeworthy, we're in Charlotte, North Carolina, visiting the home of interior designer Alexis Pauling. Alexis lives with her family in a gorgeous home with transitional touches and bright pops of color. Born and raised on the Upper East Side of New York City, Alexis developed a love for beautiful architecture and design from a young age. Her aesthetic is founded on classic design principles blending color, texture, and pattern to create smart and energetic living spaces. Enjoy! You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Before today's episode, click the join button below to support all of the storytelling we do on this channel. Our growing community of members help to directly fund more videos so we can capture these extraordinary homes from around the world. So join today to receive early and exclusive access to new Homeworthy videos. Hello, Homeworthy. I'm Alexis. Welcome to my home in Charlotte, North Carolina. Come on in. Hello, and welcome to my entryway. Here we are in uh, the main vestibule and I would call my style transitional here, um, really throughout the house, but you can see a good example of what the whole home offers. Um, I love mixing styles. So to me, transitional means uh, modern art, modern color, pops of color, happy color, um, mixed with vintage and antiques. We have um, a Louis XVI dresser here, that's by Maison Jansen, and it's one of my most prized possessions. I love it. Um, and then overhead, we have beautiful artwork by Marcy Cook, who's one of my favorite artists out of Texas. This is a commission piece, and she walks you through the whole process. Um, I fully trusted her to do what she wanted. I just mentioned some favorite colors. She also used some, this is a collage, is the medium some clipped butterflies that um, from a wallpaper that I have. It just really added a personal touch. I think that the art really exemplifies what's to come in the room. I have a ceiling that we painted high gloss. It's fine paints of Europe, and it just adds that nice, quiet touch. It's still white, but it is a beautiful, elegant touch. Um, I have another painting of Marcy Cook over here and uh, the colors really speak to me. It's more in a graffiti style, but mixing modern with antique and vintage gives friction to a design that make it interesting, chic, and timeless. So this mirror in my entry is probably a seven foot custom mirror, and it really adds a pop and a wow when you walk into um, the entry. It's just fun and playful, which I love. Uh, the upper right quadrant, as you can see, is yellow. Um, and it's a bit of an off color. I like when things don't match perfectly or wh where they come from nowhere. Um, I don't really coordinate yellow throughout my house. It's just very fun and playful. Um, the rest of the mirror, as you can see, is just antiqued. And um, it's simple, but it makes a big impact. So we moved into the original home that was here on this plot um, in 2010 when my oldest daughter was six months old. It was a gray green ranch, 1951, and we lived in it for 10 years. It was very functional, especially when we had small children. Um, but I always had thoughts of what the home could become. And of course, 10 years later, I learned exactly what we needed in a house. We are located across from a park, meaning that we have no neighbors across the street. It's really a, a one of a kind property and I don't think that I could have found a better location if I tried. So when we were interviewing um, builders, it was sort of a 50-50 if this was gonna be a teardown or a renovation, but we learned that uh, teardown was the way to go. Being that the home was a half a century, there were many issues that we had with the home already. Um, so Mills Elog was our contractor and we built new uh, in 2019 and we moved in in 2020. So we've been here for four years now and it's everything that we need the home to be. It's really perfect for our family. Now I'd love to show you my pink den, follow me. 
This is our pink den, and it's probably one of the most playful areas in the house. Um, my inspiration for this is heavily impacted by chinoiserie everything. Starting with this amazing wood chest, it has a little bit of a story. It's the one antique piece in my home that um, has some personal family meaning. I grew up with this um, in New York City on East 72nd Street. This was my parents' sideboard in the living room. It was actually my great uncle and his wife were traveling in China in the 40s, and he had this made, he purchased it, and it was sent back to America, where it lived in his home in New York City until they moved to Florida and passed it on to my parents. Um, I also love these two Gracie panels that are framed beautifully. Um, they're vintage and they're pretty fantastic. It goes up to the nine foot ceiling and I think it's really impactful. I love the colors. So what I've done here is use the Philip Jeffries grass cloth, which is a very warm and again, a bit of an off color pink. And I've painted the crown and the, the trim a same matching pink. And I think that that really adds to the warmth and sophistication of the room. In addition to the custom trim, I have um, a matching Schumacher fabric um, on the drapery with Samuel and Sons trim, which is pretty fabulous. Everything's quiet and understated, but again, packs a punch. It's elegant, but chic because of the trim color matching, windows included. Um, some other favorite pieces that I have here are the oversized gold mirror um, that's maybe eight feet tall. And I like to buy many items at auction. Some of my best finds are from auction, including this marble pedestal that is from the 18th century. So, um, I change it up, I display art, modern art, sometimes plants, but it's a fun room and it's elegant. So actually the intent of this room on the architectural plans um, when I designed this was for a formal dining room. But that's just not how we live as a family. Again, I have two young children. We have a large uh, table that you'll see in the kitchen that serves as everything. It's our breakfast table, it's our art table, it's where we have dinner. Um, I don't feel the need for a specifically, you know, fancy dining room. So this became our pink den. It's just an extra sitting room. Um, it's a great room to have a, a baby shower, which I hosted a few weeks ago. Um, it's a great place. Actually, this is where I put right in front of this window where we set up the Christmas tree. So it's a really lovely sitting room and I think I appreciate it more than having um, a dining table. My favorite lighting in the entire house, I would have to say, are these Kelly Wurstler sconces. These are huge chunks of uh, white quartz, and they make me so happy. They are chunky, they are happy, um, they really make an impact. I also have this beautiful light uh, chandelier from Circa. It's one of my favorites. It hits that fun balance between playful, classic, feminine, and girly. I wanna show you something that's hiding out a little bit. It's a really fun architectural feature. I have pocket doors everywhere and they really work well for a quiet, understated door close for when you might need privacy or quietness during a party. I'd love to show you my bedroom, but on the way, we have this fun transition um, of the office. We actually walk through the office. Um, we have a hidden panel door. Um, here's our bookcase. It's painted in an amazing color of Pharaoh and Ball but we started with um, a color and then we amended it slightly to make it brighter. Um, this bookcase has a lot of my loved items that I've collected over the years. Um, I'm interested in chinoiserie, shells, crystals, family photos, mementos, brass items, shell encrusted anything. Um, so this is a fun and really beloved um, showcase. I have these great library lights above with stars on the back plate. So something that ties in the color in this room, um, the amazing paint is saturated. I also love this rug. Um, it really highlights the color. It goes really beautifully with it, again, in an off sort of way. Um, these chairs I picked up at my favorite 
local vintage store. It's called Slate Interiors. And it's vintage. These are worn and loved by somebody else and they came to me with a perfect patina. The ceiling is another um, interesting feature. It's wallpapered. It's definitely a fifth dimension. It's a fifth wall. Um, it's Holland and Sherry. And um, here's a really fun visual comfort chandelier as well. Now I'll take you into the bedroom. Follow me. Welcome to our primary bedroom located on the first floor. Um, this is a light and bright space. I like to keep primary bedrooms a bit on the feminine side. I actually chose a color other than pure white for the walls just because I want it subdued, I want an oasis, and I want it to be relaxing. Um, I love pink, I love blue, I love feminine, and um, I actually own three dogs, and this is specifically for them. It is a pleather bench so that they can hop on up with ease. Um, and also this rug is, is a great rug of hiding a myriad of sins. Typically, I love to use a chandelier in a bedroom, but um, usually there's one partner in a marriage that requires a fan, so we have a fan. Uh, I kept the furniture light and bright. They actually have acrylic base, which just adds to the feeling of lightness. I have this beautiful chaise that I sit and have a cup of coffee. I go on my phone in the morning and read newspapers. Here's a great little perch for coffee. And I have a view of the park across the street. So one of my favorite possessions in this room is my children's silhouettes. Uh, we have Finley on the bottom, we have Logan on top. Um, and I worked with the lady and I found exactly the Pantone color that I wanted to use. It was a paint chip that I, that I had her print out the silhouettes. I love them, I think they're fun, in addition to the rippled uh, frame. A feature that I love to have over beds, often I find, is the sunburst. Um, I love everything that a sunburst stands for. I like the energy, I like the classicism of it. And I love that just burst of gold and reflection. I think it adds to a lot above the bed, which is overall a very quiet room. Another feature that is a work in progress is my Pagoda cabinet. Another purchase from Slate Interiors. And um, I had my friend Holly of Renew Home Charlotte spray it um, in the perfect white. And I got wallpaper for the back um, panel. And I also had it electrified. It's not styled, it's not as I want it yet, but it's a work in progress and I think it's gonna be a beautiful addition. Connected uh, to the primary bedroom through this vestibule is the primary bathroom. I actually chose quartz for the countertops just to be safe, uh, but the floor and the shower are marble. Um, it is clean and bright and white and functional. I provided myself with a little vanity, which I use daily. I have a lovely vignette of collected and gifted uh, silver from my mother and a picture of my girls. Um, I've simply tied in a very simple hydrangea color towels and accents, Wedgwood vase, um, and that's really the only source of color along with this vintage piece of art. Now I'd love to show you the powder room that's right off of the primary bedroom. It's accessible to the main area of the home. Um, so this powder room is just fun. It's a little jewel box and it makes me really happy. Um, the wallpaper is called Queen's Flight, carried by Schumacher. And it actually was designed by Barry Benson of Peg Norris. Um, it's just fun. It's wallpaper of birds and uh, butterflies. So this is a really fun cabinet. It's just a floating cabinet, holds everything and more that we could need for a small powder. Um, this is modern matter hardware that just is the cherry on top. I love modern matter. Um, again, a bit of a chinoiserie slant here with the mirror, the lucite and gold mirror. And then these, uh, Sconces are pretty sensational. I love them. I love the light and the directional uh, light that they give the wallpaper. It sort of casts a, a highlight on the paper. Directly next door to the powder is the bar area. So this is a really fun, open and inviting bar area. 
Um, I sort of want guests, I love guests to help themselves. Uh, it is painted a really magnificent, high gloss, um, fine paints of Europe, teal color. So it's fun with a pop of crystals um, on the poles. These actually are from Modern Matter as well. Uh, showcase my, my glasses and artwork behind is always a fun way to perk up a space. Um, and again, with a chinoiserie ginger jar. These are also very fun lights uh, by Visual Comfort as well. And um, I just love the play of colors. All of these off colors really work for me. I love to host parties. I love to have people over um, in a very casual, informal, and fun way. People come over often, and it's lovely to be able to make a drink. And then we come right on into the dining room. This is where we host parties. And this again is our one and only table that I was speaking of. I chose for a few reasons, loose sight um, chairs. They are easy, they are wipeable. It's something you don't need to worry about. I think you, people need to think about that when they have children and just practicality of life. Either you care and you love patina and stains or you don't. Um, I apparently do not. So I think that this actually, they add a really nice touch, a light touch to the area. This table seats 10 or 12, um, and we host all holidays, parties, um, just had a baby shower here last weekend, and it's a really fun, relaxed place to be, I think maybe because it's not a formal dining room. This actually was not the original light that I placed um, in our home. This is um, a visual comfort Talia chandelier um, in a linear form. It comes in a few different types. And I love how it's airy, it's playful, it's energetic, and it looks beautiful lit um, from inside and outside. I have my tablescape set very simply and elegantly. I love china ware and dinner plates. Uh, I have bought quite a few of them on auction. Uh, Live Auctioneers is one of my favorite resources, as well as Cherish. Uh, but this Rose Femme plate coupled with the Genori um, china is really, is really fun. It's a nice summer tablescape. And then some silver items that my mom has gifted me. I have a fun salt cellar with seahorses. You can either fill or not. And these actually are um, crystal champagne flutes from Etsy that I found on Etsy that are mid-century. Um, again, we have a couple baby ginger jars. I change up what's actually placed on the tablescape often, of course. I don't repeat. I have many table uh, cloths. And one of my favorite things to do is just have it filled with candles. It really adds to the element. My kitchen is open to the dining area. Um, and it's really just open, simple, white, inviting. I have these great uh, oversized fixtures. I tend to like um, lighting to be larger than smaller. It just makes more of an impact. These happen to be from Hudson Valley. Uh, one of my favorite ceramicists, this bowl and the organicness. Obviously, I don't have artichokes all the time, but I do put fruit and lemons and plants and flowers in there. That makes me very happy. So for the countertops, I selected quartz. I actually added a waterfall quartz element as well as I continued it up the backsplash in the back just for a continuous, quiet, but again, impactful um, moment. This was a custom hood. It is zinc and brass. And I actually chose to have uh, chrome in the kitchen. A lot of clients often select gold, 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 everything from hardware to lighting, but I actually like to mix it. Um, I find it's a little bit more interesting. Again, I love to cook. I chose a great range. My children are in here all the time. This is our main location. This island is really where you can find us a lot. Um, the girls do homework. They do art here. Um, we obviously have our meals here. And um, it's a really relaxed kitchen that I think is comfortable, but it's put together. It's a really relaxed kitchen that I wanted to be inviting um, and just easy to be in. It's an easy place. It's open to the dining room and it's a very comfortable place to be. We're here quite a lot. Welcome to my living room. 
Um, here we are. It's one of the few rooms that I painted in a different color. It's actually gray owl. It's very soft and relaxed. Um, I have a set of very oversized sofas here by Row, and I want this room to be very casual. It is not a formal room. I want people to be able to come, kick up your feet onto the sofa, wrap yourself in a blanket. We have a fireplace that we use all the time. Um, it just sort of adds to that cozy ambiance. Um, Apparently I have a very happy bird of paradise in this window. As you can see, he's just about to pop all of these leaves. He makes me very happy. Plants, I think, are a wonderful addition. Of course, flowers are as well, but plants are really just a, a natural and organic element um, that add to the home and the ambience. I have a very slim console here uh, with a great wood grain um, and I change up my display often. I love my Wedgwood and I love my crystals. I have a double layer um, glass coffee table and I just display and use. I actually flip through my design books often um, and I just collect a few little crystals down below. Two of my favorite elements in the room um, is this large painting. It's oil on canvas by Kelly Pelfrey. She is really amazing. Um, I love the colors and the energy um, and the whole vibe in the painting sort of set the tone for the room. Another element that I have is this coffered ceiling. I thought that that added quite a bit architecturally to the room and added to the coziness and the overall feel. Another fun element in the uh, room is this Corbett lighting chandelier. It is pressed glass and the movement um, created by the pressed glass really gives an organic feeling to the whole room. So I love to have a natural element in all of my rooms. Um, I fell in love with this quirky and huge orchid. I've never seen anything like it. His root systems grow up. It just made me happy, so I purchased it. And then over here, I have a little area, again, with more shells and um, a beautiful antique brass um, little tray. And one of my favorite lamps by Kelly Wurstler. And now I'll show you my locker area right off of the garage. So I've created this locker area with ample storage. All four of us, including my husband and I, have an area to just put our bags, backpacks, dog leashes, etc. cetera. Um, I have this fun worlds away chest with lucite poles. I added a glass top actually for protection because kids throw their water bottles and anything else that they might have. Um, this is a visual comfort, small little petite uh, metal shade lamp that, that I like a lot. And I have some vintage brass torchieres, I think they're called. I think function is paramount when designing for clients. Um, reality is reality and they have children, they have messes. Everyone needs somewhere to put things away. So I love closed doors. Um, it really serves its function and purpose. Um, and it looks good while it's doing all the work. And connected to the locker area is our laundry room. So obviously function is paramount, but I've tried to make it fun um, with Palladian blue uh, cabinetry. And I have hanging area. So we have two dog crates, even though we have three dogs. Truly, they're not often used. I thought that they would be, but of course our dogs want to be with us and we want to be with them. We have a little fig tree that's never produced fruit for me, but it's also very happy in this uh, sunny oval window. I have this great Ushak rug um, that just adds a pop of color and it goes beautifully with the Palladian blue. I added brass poles in here. I think it just highlights and ties in nicely to the glass chandelier fixture. Home is your sanctuary. It is your safe place and haven for your family. Home is a reflection of your personality. As soon as one hits the front door, I hope that someone is conveyed my personality and my thoughts and my feelings, and maybe even my viewpoint. Well, Homeworthy, thank you for stopping by and taking a tour with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content, shopping guides, and so much more.